Hey, what's up? Let's do some math today. Today, let's focus on two-step equations. Now, when it comes to two-step equations, I have three phrases that are gonna capture pretty much everything that we're gonna do. So my first phrase is isolate and balance. Isolate and balance. My second phrase is inverse operations. operations and finally my third phrase is outside in now what's kind of cool about this is that we essentially have three two word phrases for our two-step equations now when I talk about when I am saying isolate and balance I mean we want to isolate our variable by balancing out the equation so let's take a look at a quick example here let's say we have 3x plus 4 is equal to 22. What I want to do is get this variable all by itself. So when I say isolate, that's what I mean. We're going to isolate the variable. Now we get to the second phrase, inverse operations. We want to see what's happening to our variable. And right now there are two things that are happening to our variable. We are multiplying it by 3, and we are also adding 4 to it. Now this gets us to the final phrase, outside in. How do we know which one to do first? We want to work from the outside in. So the plus 4 is literally further away from our x than the 3 is. So we'll start by doing the inverse of plus 4. And so the inverse of plus 4 is going to be to subtract 4. And so we're going to balance the equation. One trick I like to use is a mirror line. So whatever you do on one side, you have to balance it out by doing on the other side. Then we end up getting 3x is equal to uh, 22 minus 4 is 18. Now we repeat this process. We have to do the inverse operation. We uh, are currently multiplying our x by 3, so now we will divide both sides by 3. Cross those out. Mirror line. Simplify that. You get 6. And so our final answer here is x equals 6. We box it. We walk away. And so that's how we do these two-step equations. Now, let's mix it up and show you a couple of different looks. So right here, let's do one where we have x over negative 2 minus 5 is equal to 7. All right, now uh, on this one, we have the two operations that are happening. Let's get a new color. Let's go green again. We're dividing by negative 2 and we are subtracting five from both sides. So we want to do the opposite. And again, we're going to work on the outside in. So I'm going to make my mirror line, and I'm going to start by adding five to both sides. Add five to both sides. Now I have x over negative two, or another way of thinking of this is x divided by negative two is equal to 12. Well, the opposite of dividing by negative two is going to be by multiplying by negative two multiply by negative 2. So if I, whoops, negative 2, there we go, do my mirror line, that's how I'm going to balance that out. These go away, and now I've isolated x, so x equals 12 times negative 2, which is negative 24. I can box that, walk away. Now, let me show you one more example really quickly of, uh, again, what this can kind of look like here. So let me clean up my board. All right, and good enough. Okay, let's go with a good black here. Boom. Okay, now let's say we have something like 5 minus 8x is equal to 5. All right, now the difference here is I have my variable on the right-hand side instead of the left-hand side. However, that doesn't change much, okay? So I still want to think about what is it I'm doing to my variable here? Well, I'm Essentially, this is a positive 5, so I'm adding 5, and I'm multiplying by negative 8. So again, what I want to do is inverse operations. I will subtract 5 from both sides. Subtract 5 from both sides. And now I have negative 8x is equal to 0. Now, some people might be panicking and freaking out. What's going on here? Don't need to worry about it too much. Just keep following the process. Next, we would divide both sides by negative 8. 
divided by negative 8, and then think, what is 0 divided by negative 8? Well, 0 divided by anything is just 0. And so, that's what we have, x equals 0, because we've canceled out those two uh, negative 8s. And so, in a nutshell, that is how we solve two-step equations. Again, it boils down to my three phrases, isolate and balance, inverse operations, and outside in. You want to work from the outside in. So, good luck with your practice, and let me know if you have any questions.